Hillary Clinton came to Detroit today to move on from the divisions of the Democratic primary season. In her mind, it's over. And while thanking Bernie Sanders for the challenge, she decided it was time to go after Republicans in a big way. Our business editor, Rob Maloney, was on hand for that. Has a look at what she said today. Rob? Well, Devin, you know, you don't uh, come to Motown without thinking that you're going to get a very sympathetic audience with union workers, people who want to see higher wages. The plight of the union worker played out, you know, in a very large scale, and that's exactly why Hillary Clinton was happy to be here today, talking to her union friends who are backing her and try and get their support. And along the way, she decided that she was going to take shots at every Republican within earshot, calling Governor Rick Snyder and also Donald Trump union busters. And let's say what we all know, right to work is wrong for workers and wrong for America. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton decided it was time to go full bore at Donald Trump. Though she lost the Michigan primary a month and a half ago, she told the very supportive SEIU, which has endorsed her, that she is the stark contrast to her opponent. Running up our debt, starting trade wars, letting Wall Street run wild, all of that could cause another crash and devastate working families and our country. Clinton is all in when it comes to raising the minimum wage, paid family leave, equal pay for women. And we are going to unify the Democratic Party and stop Donald Trump. <laughs> we need a president who will use the bully pulpit to stand up for working families. But the last thing we need is a bully in the pulpit. Now, uh, one of the things that might have prompted her to go so hard after Donald Trump today is the fact that in national polling, we're seeing a dead heat now in the national race. So clearly she feels an urgency to get on with this full presidential campaign. Of course, uh, in the meantime, one of the things that she said is she's going to continue President Obama's record of signing executive orders, getting more affordable health care and helping working families and also immigrant families. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4.